Hey folks, uh, good morning to everybody, or afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Uh, today we can talk about Skyward Sword HD because uh, it's doing something that I didn't really expect it to do uh, and is extremely shocking. Uh, to me, as someone who's been closely following Zelda game sales uh, for 20 plus years, for those who don't know, I used to run uh, really popular Zelda fan sites. Uh, you guys might know places like Zelda Universe, Zelda Dungeon. I've worked at those places. I also ran a place called Zelda Informer. that was the biggest website for a little while there. Uh, so yeah, I, I've been deeply involved in covering Zelda for a majority of my life. And let's just say I'm shocked <laughs> at what this game is doing on Switch. Uh, so let's get into that. But before we do, I want to remind you we are giving away a Switch OLED system to one lucky subscriber. That's right. All you have to do to enter is just be subscribed. We will be announcing a winner live during a live stream uh, in early October. All right. So to start off this story, um, we're going to uh, first just take a look at Amazon sales charts because while Amazon is not the be all end all, it's just one retailer. There's a few things that you should know about Amazon when it comes to video game sales. One, it's the number one video game retailer on the internet. So it doesn't matter if you have GameSpot, Best Buy, or GameStop, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, it doesn't really matter where you prefer to buy your games from because more people prefer to buy them off Amazon than they do any other retailer in the world. And this is not just in the US, this is literally worldwide. Amazon ranks as the number one retailer for video games worldwide. So that's number one. It's a great barometer when, you, when you're talking about the number one retailer in the world, it's a great barometer to see if it's performing well here, it's likely performing well at other retailers too. Uh, we just don't get actual sales for that. Another thing to note here is that Nintendo themselves has their big financial meeting coming up. And yes, they're going to talk about sales for Skyward Sword HD because they always talk about sales for their most recent game, uh, whether or not it's actually part of the quarter they're reporting on. So yeah, Nintendo's going to have some sales updates for us. It'll be interesting to see how close to 90 million switches are we right now, or have we passed 90 million switches in the marketplace? Uh, obviously, things like the Switch OLED being announced has like slowed sales down a little bit. But even still, it's still kicking butt. And we'll look at Japan for that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about these Amazon sales charts first because uh, the, the big thing to remember here is that uh, when Nintendo games debut on these sales charts, they don't stay there for very long, right? They, they, they'll be in the top 10 for a while, uh, but they, they'll drop from that number one spot week over week over week, especially as new games come out and we get deeper into the year, or as like there's just a fever pitch for a game at launch and then it kind of dies off, right? Those launch week sales. Uh, Nintendo games tend to always perform well. As an example, Mario Golf is still on the Amazon bestseller list at number five, but still, that's at number five. It, 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 it's fallen back from when it debuted at number one, right? And this is what we usually see. Well, that's not happening with Skyward Sword. So on Amazon's hot new releases, it is still sitting at number one for two consecutive weeks. So yeah, launch week, cool. But also the week after launch when sales usually dip, okay now, that's interesting. Also, what's interesting is that, you know, people always were, were complaining about Skyward Sword HD being sold at $59.99. Amazon's selling it for $49.94. Uh, I don't know if they just price match the original release, if they're just price matching Walmart, who releases basically every game at $10 cheaper if you go in store. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if that has to deal with why it's at number one, but it's still at number one two weeks running, and that is huge. Uh, also, here's what's really interesting. There's like a trifecta of Skyward Sword stuff. So at the time of making this video, uh, the Skyward Sword Joy-Con are at number two, and the Skyward Sword Loftwing Amiibo are at number three. That's a trifecta of things that released on the same day uh, at the top of the charts. Now, I have seen the Skyloft Amiibo and the uh, Joy-Con flip-flop a couple times uh, you know, before making this video, so I think the sales on those two are neck and neck, but obviously there was restocks uh, all around for those, and they weren't as hard to get as some people feared they might be. Uh, and even now, you know, if you want to buy secondhand market on the Joy-Con, you're only going to pay, what, $24 more, which isn't insane, at least on Amazon. Uh, but that price is probably going to keep coming down because it seems that Nintendo's trying to restock these things, uh, at least, probably at least through the holidays, I would assume. 
soon because I think they have a feeling this is their Zelda game this year. It might continue to sell well into the holidays, uh, especially after Switch OLED comes out because I, I think Nintendo is well aware. There are plenty of people holding off that don't own a Switch right now, holding off on buying one until that OLED model comes because the, the pre-orders were so staggered at so many of the different retailers. really wasn't that hard, and I've heard in some countries it's not even sold out. Now, a lot of retailers here in the U.S. are sold out, but not worldwide. There's some countries you can still readily walk into a store and get a pre-order in for Switch OLED for day one. Now, uh, that's not the only thing that's interesting for Skyward Sword sales because the Famitsu charts, which have been updated a couple times since uh, their original posting last week Thursday, uh, they've, they've had two updates here, at least at uh, Gametsu.com, uh, has Skyward Sword again at number one for two consecutive weeks, which didn't happen last time around. When Skyward Sword released on the Wii, it debuted at number one and then fell to number three in week two. Didn't happen this time, uh, and there were new releases. Uh, there's always new releases, just nothing that knocked it off its pedestal. So Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has now sold 201,731 units in Japan, and last week it sold 42,642 units. I really should say a couple weeks ago at this point, because last week it would be the third week it was out. So yeah, let's just say the sales are doing very well for this game. And honestly, when, when you look at the, the Switch sales, you know it, it, it too has sold what? 69,000 units, which, yeah, it's a dip. It was selling 80,000 before the Switch OLED announcement, but to still sell 69,000 or 60,000, let's just say, plus uh, units every single week with Switch OLED still looming, you know, in October, that's huge. And uh, it's dwarfing everything else. I mean, PlayStation 5's uh, cumulative sales at, didn't even cross 20,000. Um, the Xbox Series S and X are actually not sitting too terribly uh, for an Xbox platform. I mean, they're moving, well, just last week, uh, they moved, you know, 4,000, 5,000 units. Uh, that's a lot for Xbox. I mean, we're talking about a platform that traditionally sells in the hundreds, um, sometimes in the single digits week over week. And here the series is actually getting, I don't know, they're getting like a, a second wind, you know? Is that, is that, is that what's happening? Because the launch sales were nice at first and then really dipped off, and now it's new. I don't know. Well, I have to pay more attention to the Xbox Series and how it performs uh, in Japan over time. They've never really been able to make headway into Japan. I think the 360 was the best, you know, best platform they've ever had in terms of sales. So we'll have to see what happens there. But yeah, Skyward Sword, this game right here, uh, is doing numbers. And I wouldn't be shocked when Nintendo unveils it if this game is sold at least two, maybe even three million. If you guys remember, it, it barely cracked four million in sales on the Wii, which was a disappointment for Nintendo. A platform that had a hundred million units only sold four. Well, they also released it after they announced the Wii U, which that was a mistake. They should have just delayed it for the Wii U, in my opinion, uh, like they did with Breath of the Wild. But besides that, there was also a lot of controversy. Some people didn't like the motion controls, and there was even some reviews of Skyward Sword HD that chastised those motion controls. So keep having button control options, um, tightening up some of the, the, the beginning area so you can quickly get into the brux of the game instead of spending two, three hours in a tutorial fest. You can actually rush through that if you don't need the tutorial. Um, th there's just uh, some things they've tightened and cleaned up around the edges on this game, not just the visuals. Uh, and that has led to, I think, this game being a big seller. And we have to remember, Zelda is more popular today than it's ever been. And I think this is lost on a lot of people. Breath of the Wild has sold 20 plus million units. Let, me, let that sink in. Breath of the Wild has sold 20 plus million. The next best selling Zelda game sold 8 million on the Wii. And that was Twilight Princess. It more than doubled that. Zelda is more popular today than it's ever been. And this is another 3D Zelda game that many of the people, you know, at least 16 plus million people who bought Breath of the Wild never played Skyward Sword. So this is almost like a new game for them. Uh, granted, you know, it, it's not going to do the kind of numbers of Breath of the Wild will. They've been very clear. Uh, thank you, Nintendo, in their marketing. This isn't Breath of the Wild. Uh, but even though, because I was a little worried at the beginning of the marketing. They kept talking Breath of the Wild this, Breath of the Wild that. I get it. They were marketing the game. But as the marketing went on, they stopped with those Breath of the Wild comparisons. So thank you, Nintendo. It's almost like you watched my video and realized maybe we shouldn't be telling Breath of the Wild people that these things from Breath of the Wild came from this game because they don't really work the same as they do in this game. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to do that, uh, and it is what it is. But uh, now, I mean, God, is this game marketing Breath of the Wild 2 at this point? Falling from the sky, hey! Now, I'm glad to see this game do well. It's consistently bouncing in and out of my top five. It's literally in my top seven Zelda games 
of all time period i have this uh, ahead of you know juggernauts like ocarina of time and stuff like that um I, that's how much i love skyward sword it is an amazing experience um i've been slow playing through uh the actual skyward sword hd game i've, I've beaten this game uh, twice. It's been a long time since I've, I've played it. Uh, and it's not that it's any less fun now. It's just I was on vacation. I mean, literally the game came out. I played it for you guys. And then I went on vacation and I forgot my Switch because I'm an idiot. And I, as soon as I got to the airport, I was like, oh, I forgot my Switch. I was finally going to have like a bunch of time to play and I forgot my Switch. Uh, so yeah, I haven't got a lot of time to play it. Uh, we'll probably get more into it this week. Maybe we'll even do a couple um, Q and A live streams this week where I'm playing Skyward Sword and then also answering your guys' questions because you know we could do double duty, right? Like that's a thing that can happen. I don't have to just do one any one thing during my live streams. I could double it up uh, and play some games while uh, talking to you guys. But yeah, I don't know. I'm excited about these sales. Uh, I want to know if you're excited about them as well. Uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think this game is outperforming expectations? I think we're about to find out this thing has sold you know two three million. Heck. Maybe it's even outsold the original game. I don't know if I want to go quite that far. I mean, it's possible it had a four plus million uh, debut, but I'm, I'm not going to go that far. But I do think uh, I, I'm just happy in general. In fact, I'm so happy. Skurvo, come here, buddy. Come here, Skurvo. You can do it. You can do it, Skurvo. Yeah. Yeah. Skurvo's here to get some revenge. He's going to be like, Link, you. Well, Link wins again. You bastard. All right, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robodeth from Nintendo Prime. And I better put Scribble back together before he yells at me. All right, folks. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Come on. Get. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. That, that, that That's what was supposed to happen.